I'm already sitting up like a thousand times straighter. Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lena, nice to meet ya. If you're prepared to be amazed, give this video a big thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a single video. Today I am super duper excited because I got my Lux Curves in the mail. <laughs> about three, four weeks before I was scheduled for my induction, I bought this lovely Gold's Gym Waist Belly Band, and I felt like it really helped in my recovery process and helped me get back to somewhat of a flat stomach. And I mean, it, it did help, and it was good, and it felt nice just to have compression over here just because, you know, the c-section and all that but I really wanted something better more expensive and just longer lasting because this is already starting to tear I have worn it every day it's starting to get little bumps on it I've worn it every day all day all night for the past month so it just came super duper excited I'm gonna unwrap this for you guys oh my gosh also I'm gonna measure my waist um, before dang this is like really hard I need some scissors Okay, so I'm going to measure my waist with this belly band on. And I'm going to measure my waist without this belly band on. Then I'm going to measure my waist with this Lux Curves waist trainer on. Pretty things inside. So cute. I love cute packaging. Ah, hey, beautiful. So cute. Makes me not want to rip it. And I think I might have gotten a size that was too small not really sure I hope not I hope I didn't let's cut this tag off I'm super duper excited so I watched so many videos on her channel and um, they said to put on the waist trainer like higher up so it's easier and then I think they said to keep the straps facing upward yeah so like this is already like oh my god super small I don't think this will fit me oh my god okay this is super scary so we're gonna go on the inch side I'm gonna measure my waist with this on because this is pretty thick like it's pretty tight but this thing yawn it says I'm 29 they're like 28 and a half so you would round up to 29 let's take this off I feel like it has done wonders I'm super scared now because I don't know if this waist strainer is gonna fit and I don't think that they do returns maybe we should lift up my top we can get the best, the best. Okay. I don't know if this is like the smallest part of my waist. Of course it's going to get tangled. I think it is. This right here is the smallest part of my waist. Okay, so without... Okay, so yeah, without that belly band on, I am at a 26. This is the smallest part of my waist. Now for the extreme test. 
It said to like put something cotton under it, so. This is so freaking like insane. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Like I cannot do this. It's definitely gonna have to be on the first set of rings. Oh my God, this is so crazy. So I watched so many freaking tutorials. So I think you have to have your thumb like on that side. And she said to start it up here. Oh my god, I should have got a small. They said that the first time is gonna be really hard to put on. One clasp down. Oh, jeez. You gotta like pull it down. This is like, oh my god, I'm already like so straight. This is so scary. Oh my gosh. I might not even be able to finish doing this because I'm pretty sure like it's getting close to the time for my daughter to eat. So we might have to come back to this, you guys. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna take forever to get one. So I'm a 26 inch breathing in, and that's how I like to measure myself because, you know, if you're slouching and breathing out, it's not really, you know. It already came undone. Okay. This is very um, hot. Let me go turn the heater off. It already feels so freaking tight. And like kind of hard to breathe. I'm so scared, like what if I cannot get this off? Oh, this is so hard. <gasps> So I switched tops because I felt like my black top was a little bit too thick. Um, I think it's like 100% spandex or something, polyester. Definitely not cotton, whatever. Anyways, super duper thick. That is a struggle. Um, we're gonna try again and I'm gonna come back when I have it on, if I get it on because if not, we're gonna be here all day. Okay guys, so ew. for sure, I'm already getting it up way further with the tank top on. Um, I think I may have needed to get a small, not an extra small. It's crazy to me how good these are um, because this is only on the first one and there's two more hooks to go. And it's like, how? You know, like, oh my God, like when I get to that point, like how? And then um, in her videos, she would say things like, if you can stick you know, your whole hand down your waist trainer, it's too big and you need to size down. Um, how? You know, I will be like amazed when I get to that point. Also, whew, it makes you really straight and it really honestly feels so good for my C-section, just like the pressure. And I've been looking in my mirror, putting it on as well because it's just easier to do it that way. Okay guys, I almost have it all the way on. This is definitely a good waist trainer. I will definitely not be wearing this 24 hours a day. Uh, like my Gold's Gym one, before I put this on, I had the thought in my mind like, I'm gonna wear this eight hours a day. No, more than eight hours a day. The suggest time is eight hours, five to eight hours. Especially when you first start out, they say to maybe just wear it for a couple hours and then increase it. I might have to do that because I'm already out of breath, but it feels good to just have good posture, you know? So I just kind of like started from the bottom and then just like gradually pulled it. Woo! I got it all the way on, you guys. This is so crazy to me. I love how it automatically makes me like have that hourglass figure. I'm gonna go ahead and measure myself one more time, but this is the medium length torso 
which is really crazy to me because I am 4'10 and I just assumed I have a short torso, but apparently I have a medium torso, which I think this is like 11 inches long. And I got the extra small, so I told him that my waist was 26 inches, which it is. I think that I did a good job. I think it was just really hard to put on. I don't think that I should have bought a small because I feel like it might not be as tight. I had to mention one more thing, you guys. It automatically makes your tatas like lifted. It just makes you feel so good. Like, hello, it's like an automatic boob lift, okay? And I think I actually have mine on a little bit too far to the left or the right, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, starting out, I'm probably only gonna wear this for like an hour and then try it again tonight once my baby goes to sleep. I can just like, you know, put it back on, see how it is, walk around the house in it or something because, who let me tell y'all, this is tight. It is tight and when people, you know, they have like a two extra small. This is just an extra small and there's still two more hooks. And then there's people who are actually two extra smalls. I'm in awe. Oh, I'm in awe. Oh, like amazed by that. I cannot wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Breathing in it is kind of hard at first. I don't know if that's normal. So let's measure the top part of my waist with this on. So automatically it's just gonna be bigger regardless just because there's something on top of it. So, actually it says 26. So maybe I really am a 27 inch waist because with this waist trainer on, I'm 26 again. <sighs> wow. Um, Overall, I'm really impressed. I'm really proud of myself that I got this on. And I really loved the packaging. I'm probably gonna hang it on my wall like a dork. Hey, beautiful. Pretty things inside. Lux doll. This is so cute. I'm so excited for this journey and I cannot wait to update you guys with my results. Like, look at my posture, you guys. This is effing insane. This is crazy. Wow. Definitely 10 out of 10 review, you guys. This is great. This is effing great, actually. Shout out to Lux Curves, honey. Anyways, if you're interested, I'm going to leave their website down below. I don't have any special codes or anything, but they do have a deal going on. And then I think on the 4th of July, they have like 50% off of everything, but I could not absolutely freaking wait. So if you're interested, go ahead and look at the link down below. And until next time, my lovelies.